So this is the shutter of the Super Fujika. This is the focusing part. There is this pin that engages with a slot in the standard to locate it. And there's a ring that screws on the usual way. There were no shims present. There are sliding screws so the focus helicoid moves back and forth. There is a little holder there which locates with this very small screw on the back of the shutter. So the alignment of those two is very much fixed. And then the shutter is held to the focus assembly by this ring that screws in, goes in all the way down the bottoms, holds it in tight. So you wouldn't be able to shim it there because that screw is so tiny. You might be able to shim it behind because that locating pin is fairly long. The front element screws in and bottoms out. Same with the back element. Um, this is the ring that holds the shutter to the focus mechanism. Unless it's tight, then the two will simply come apart. So it does need to be tight. That's not an adjuster. In terms of collimation, I don't know how that's achieved. What I've found is that when the lens shows it's in focus at six feet, it's actually showing seven on the distance scale. So that has a lens in focus and that has the distance scale correct. The lens has to be, should be further out to make those marks correct. I have no idea how to adjust it. That simply holds that tab on. That's just the shot speed adjuster. The only way to get this off is to take off the speed ring and everything, so that'll make a collimation impossible. That's the tab for the coupled range finder, um, shutter release. And there are no, <laughs> there's nothing. There are no grub screws around the front element. The two parts are turned in. Uh, I've got the back element out just now. No idea. <laughs>